I always think that mental health is just somebody's ability to cope with 
what life throws at them. So it's their ability to kind of have a good life and enjoy it. And when challenges happen, be able to kind of cope with them in a, you know, in a, in a good way, really. Feelings, thoughts, relationships are central to life and they are central to emotional well-being. So one way or another, you've got to find your way through life with those things. And uh, if you find yourself troubled or distressed or upset in some way that's really messing up your life, I think it's really good to have some knowledge and ideas about how you can move forward with that. Mental health's not only about being ill with it, it's also about being well with your health. Somebody's well-being, how they feel, um, and about whether they feel good or whether they feel bad. Um, I think other people think that mental health is, it carries like a bad reputation. So they uh, look down on them and they don't really want to be with them. A society view mental health in a very negative way. A lot of nasty words are said about mental health, like somebody that's mentally ill, like they're insane. Messed up in the head. Nut job. Work or Freaks. Loony. Crazy. Get misunderstood. Outcast. I think the media is quite negative. The society really judges really quick. They see the trouble, but they don't see the struggle. They don't know what that person's going through. Everyone's got mental health. Whether it's a good or a bad state, we've, we all go through these kind of times. Yeah, I've had depression when I was 15, 16. It was very difficult because I was still at school. I was going, I was there doing my GCSEs. Um, my friends didn't know what I was going through and they didn't know how to be with me. And I lost a lot of my friends because of that. And uh, I just think it, people should be made like more aware of it. So they do know. You have challenges to your mental health throughout your life. and. I think that if you can cope with those challenges then you've got good mental health. If you can't cope, that's when your mental health struggles really. I definitely think mental health is important as physical health and they're definitely linked. My coach was saying that when I was studying um, uh, football in college, now I do media, but when I was studying football I just still remember his words. He said um, football is 80% mentally, like 80% mental and 20% physical so you know, your mind plays a big part in whatever you do. It could be a case of feeling quite depressed, uh, feeling quite angry, and I think a lot of people would be lying if they said they hadn't felt like that. When I was doing my A-level exams, that was the most depressing and stressful time on the planet. Um, luckily, I, I had the right means to get me through it and to, to help me to deal with those stresses. I think everybody has suffered yeah. in some way, and I think it's recognising that and being able to talk about it. There's help out there, it's just, seeking the right sources. People talk about the stat that one in four people will experience some form of mental health issue in their life. And I think when you look at it in that context and how many family members you have, how many friends you have, it should be something that everybody looks into and everybody thinks about and everyone has a, a wider awareness of. It's about knowing that that's okay for young people to think it's okay to, to put your hands up and say, right now I'm struggling because I've got these challenges, it's affecting my mental health, I think I need to go and access some help. Mental health is everybody's business.